I'm Gavin Sabayan, and this is my story. I joined the military in 2005, and we actually started a company, which was the 543rd Military Police. Got deployed in 2006. Within the first two weeks, it, was, it wasn't good. We, uh, we lost two of our guys. We regrouped, got back together, and we finished our missions. That's all you can do. I mean, we still think about them all the time. There's not a day that goes by that you don't think about your friends that you've lost. It gets hard, but then you look back and be like, let's celebrate the best times we had with them. So an IED is an improvised explosive device. And over there, they, they hide them. And it's just one of those things that if you don't see it, sometimes you find them and sometimes you don't know where they're at. I got hit by three IEDs within 30 days. So after that, I was still going out on missions, but I started losing memory, started losing comprehension of stuff. I had no desire to go home. I wanted to stay with my guys. They're like, you're going home, soldier. And I'm like, it's just one of those things. That is, uh... After I got back from Iraq into the States, I started getting help. And then I, I spent a couple years at the uh, Warrior Transition Unit. And then after that, I got, I got out of uh, the military in 2012. So I was, I was in for six years. When I had my stroke, I had no clue what it was. It didn't affect me. A week later, I had a second stroke and I couldn't open my hand. My whole right side was like kind of numbish and I couldn't walk right. I think it affected my family more than me because it's, it's been harder on my wife than it was on me, harder on my kids. I'm trying to figure out how to get them through stuff and me trying to figure out how to use my left hand because I was right-handed. And at that time, I, I didn't want anything to do with the team. I didn't want to play soccer. I was just like, I'm done. I'm, I'm content with who I am. But then when they contacted me and everything, I was just like, you know what? I got to do this. It's, I got to push through it for my kids, for me, for my family. I, I couldn't let anything hold me back. And next thing you know, I'm back on the team and everything's going great. You just look up, you look at all the crowd, and they're, they're playing the national anthem and you're starting to tear up. When they announced my name, I just start crying because I was like, I'm here and I'm, I'm honored to wear the crest. I'm honored to be here playing for my country. So it, it's just amazing.